So guys, for today's video, I wanna go over exactly how you guys can survive and pop off and win all of your early game spawn fights. This topic is something that a lot of people have been wanting me to cover. And truthfully, I think that people overcomplicate spawn fights a lot. They're like, hey, how do I understand exactly where to land? How do I get the 50-50? How do I have the best scroll wheel? How do I have the best reaction time? I'm gonna simplify all of those things into one concise guide on how you guys can win off spawn fights in the early game to make it to the later stages of the game. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Let's hop right into it. So the first main thing that everybody needs to understand about fighting off spawn, yes, the, having the best drop is quite important. It's a very important aspect of your off spawn fighting. A really good thing that you guys can easily do to get the best drop for your POI is you can go on to fortnite.gg or you could go on to landingtutorial.com and you can make yourself a drop map. Landingtutorial.com is a great website for those of you who want to have a really good place to find where the best drop in the best place to jump out of the battle bus and to deploy your glider is going to be. It's a really easy way to do that on the brand new map. And then Fortnite.gg is far better if you guys are looking to actually make the drop map, make markers, plan out loot routes, plan out where you're going to be looting, where all the chests are, and learning that stuff about the drop. Now, having the best drop in competitive Fortnite, it's the really important thing to do off spawn simply because if you have the best drop off spawn, you're most likely to survive and you're the most likely to actually actually get a weapon, get shield, and get resources in order to win the off spawn fight first. Yes, you can say that there's some variety of RNG. Let's say the chest that you have drops you a DMR and then the chest that the enemy player has drops him a shotgun. That's a little bit of a difference and it's tougher to win fights off of that regard. However, you can minimize your bad RNG by simply landing at the best drop, landing earlier and looting more so you have a higher likelihood of getting better weapons since you're looting more area. What you guys can do to practice this, make yourself a drop map, go into various ranked scrim games, anything you possibly can, and then keep practicing using the drop map, getting the best drops. If you guys want to see how to make a drop map i have made a video in the top right corner check it out but that's the main thing for learning how you guys can actually get the best drop possible for your poi now the next thing is for you guys definitely to learn your POI. This is something I just touched on in the previous section. Learning your POI, this can mean a multitude of different things. The first primary thing that a POI learning means, it really means learning where the chest spawns, where the vital resources of this POI. Let's say, hey, this drop spot definitely has a guaranteed Olympus chest. This drop spot may have a mythic boss. This drop spot has a bunch of random chests around the area and a concentrated spot. It has slurp barrels, slap barrels. Learning where all of these attributes of a drop spot are, that's going to drastically help you in increasing your chances of getting really good loot because you know where everything is. In the high level FNCS and cash cup lobbies, people are oftentimes going to know where their drop spot should loot is nine times out of 10. If they're landing the same place every game, they're going to know almost all the time. So what's really important is that you learn what's the fastest way to get the most amount of loot, health, and materials possible. How do I learn the POI and how do I learn to get the most resources and the most bang for my buck in this POI? In terms of how to learn a POI, it's not that difficult. Go on to fortnite.gg, look up where are the chests, where are the other attributes of this POI, the barrels, any variety of noms boxes, anything you want to use, where is that stuff in this POI? Once you're able to do that, you guys can plan out what's my loot route going to be. Based off of getting the best drop and based off of where your best drop is actually coming from, you need to focus on how am I going to land, where am I going to be getting chests from, and then how am I going to be rotating out throughout my POI to get the most amount of loot. So a lot of the time when you're dropping at a POI, you're often going to be landing at the same exact spot every time. For example, if I'm landing at Pleasant Piazza, maybe I'm choosing to land at the tallest building in the whole POI. POI every single time. Once you do this, you can plan yourself a loot route based off of where you want to land every time. It's a really good way to get loot really quickly and effectively. It's also going to help you learn not only the POI in terms of where the loot is, but also the different geometry of the POI. It's going to help you learn where the best angles are, where the best hiding spots are, where the best peaks are. This is all important stuff for off spawn fights because off spawn fights are very much like scrapping. This means it's going to be a messy kind of down in the dirt fight, which is very tough to actually execute. And then guys, my final aspect of off spawn fighting, this is going to be very relevant to the modern day of game. This is going to be high ground. I'm gonna go over exactly all the things about high ground and competitive Fortnite in an upcoming video. However, what you need to understand is that high ground is the most important aspect of off spawn fights because if you're on top of a building, if you have an elevated ramping position, it's a lot easier for you to stay protected and a lot easier for you to have better sight lines onto the opponent. Now, what I mean by this, let's say you're ramp rushing somebody on the opposite side of your POI. They don't notice that you're coming. You can get a free beam on them and potentially even eliminate them. Similarly, even if they do see you come Coming, you're more likely to be able to spray them from above, take their cone, take their floor, double edit on them and eliminate them. In terms of how you want to get high ground guys off spawn, it does get a little bit more complicated. Simply what I'd recommend is use your mantling and sprinting abilities to get to the top of various building structures. If you don't have too many mats, if you do have a bunch of mats, try to build up, try to conserve them though, be smart with them, understand exactly, hey, where am I going to be building up? 
What are the sightlines I have in my opponent and how can I utilize these to win the fight? Like I said, the best way to use sightlines on high ground to win the fight, beam your opponent, keep applying constant pressure and then W key them and finish off the fight by taking their wall, simply eliminating them with your shotgun or SMG. And obviously loot does play a big part of this. If you have a shotgun and SMG, it's gonna be a lot easier than if you have a DMR and a pistol, but you still need to understand high ground is crucial for these fights. It's one of the most important aspects of these fights as long as you guys are able to get it consistently. Guys, now that is my quick video on exactly how to win off spawn fights. I know it was very fast and it was straight to the point, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. I enjoyed making this video because a really big problem I saw in FNCS this past week was a bunch of teams were dying off spawn too much, especially in the opens rounds. It's really not functional and really not logical for your performance in the FNCS lobbies. But that's about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.